What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay Wilder and Dillian White. The Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White clash opens up for op opens up following the Fury versus AJ deal. A WBC interim heavyweight title clash between Deontay Wilder and Dillian White has opened up following an agreement between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Wilder and White linked to a fight for some time could clash in 2021 following a two-fight deal between Fury and AJ. It depends on how the Fury versus Wilder trilogy goes down later this year and once the current pandemic conditions allow fans back into the arenas. Should Fury defeat Wilder for the second time, potentially in December, that puts Joshua firmly in the frame for a summer blockbuster undisputed unification. But where does that leave Wilder? Well, the bronze bomber has a high standing with the WBC. He'll certainly be able to lobby for an uh, immediate shot at the interim channel, cha uh, title. That is currently held by White. This means Wilder versus White could be ordered by the WBC while Fury versus Joshua plays out. Wow. The winner of the, the Wilder versus White would then become the new mandate for the eventual victor who emerges the undisputed from Fury versus Joshua saga. Mm. Judging by White's recent comments on Wilder, any battle would spark instant interest from the fans. Okay. So, <clears throat> I think that that could go exactly that way. Okay. Because if Wilder loses due to the, you know, if he, if he sticks in there, which I hope he does, I hope he continues fighting because, you know, this is just, you know, a part of the game. You win some, you lose some, you get those guys, some guys you win, some guys you don't win. Okay. But, I think that that could give Dillian White a solution for his problem. Because, see, in they, if, if Tyson Fury uh, fights Deontay Wilder in December, that's not going to be enough time for that mandated date that they were talking about. And Mauricio, I don't think he's going to honor it anyway. So I think it's going to be pushed back. And I think what's going to happen, mm -hmm. Deontay Wilder... And Dillian White will probably be pushed back to like April, okay? April or May of that year. So what, what would happen, those guys could fight her in April or May, okay? So Wilder can go right back in there and fight Dillian White for the interim channel then he, uh, uh, title. And then he will become that undisputed or that that mandated fight. And the good thing about fighting White, he only has to do it once. He doesn't have to sign a two fight deal or anything like that. He just fights him to become the mandatory to get his belt back, right? So if he does beat White, he becomes the WBC interim champion, which is the same exact belt, honestly. <laughs> you know, same looking belt. But then he could come in that spot where uh, Dillian White. Kubrat Pulev and Alexander Usyk is right now. Okay, so um, really Kubrat Pulev. So he can put himself in that position on the IBF side. So it would look good. So if these guys keep fighting, we will see the fights that we should have saw anyway. You know, looking at this article and thinking about all the fights that could have taken place, White should have Wilder should have fought White a long time ago. You know what I mean? And White now... If he can get Wilder, that would be great. That would be great for him to go in there and get Wilder. And you know what that would mean for Dillian White's resume? But then what would it mean for Dillian, Deontay Wilder's resume? You got two, you got three Fury fights. You got Ortiz. Now you got White. Your resume's looking all right. You know what I mean? It's looking pretty good. So, you know, I think, and, you know, for White, same thing. He fought Joshua, Wilder, uh, 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 Parker, uh, Brown. You know, he's fought th these guys, Rivas. So, it, you know, these guys, when they fight each other, they are, they are automatically improving their resume. You know, and I hope these type of fights can happen, you know. And however it happens, because, see, I think w Wilder at this point, he has a lot to prove because he, he wants to get that belt back. And I know he doesn't really want to resort to this particular alternative, but... You know, honestly, if he loses and he keeps fighting, this is pretty much where he's going to have to go, okay? 
But anyway, um, this looks like a good projection. You guys tell me what you think about this possible fight between Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.